What do dragons, bottle openers, and Prusa all have in common? Stick around, find out. I'm Ron, and this is my place. So, dragons, bottle openers, Prusa. Very lame tie-in. Really, they only come together because they're different prints. <laughs> But after the latest firmware and stuff, I've actually been almost a week since I posted anything. I've been printing a ton, um, doing some testing, working with both CR10 and the Prusa. Um, this is specifically the uh, uh, Mark III. And I printed Adelinda the Dragon. So this is the one that was one of the test prints on the... Uh, SD card. Well, it's not really on the SD card. It's all the latest drivers and whatnot. And it came out gorgeous. Um, I'm going to switch so I maybe can show it a little easier. It came out really, really clean. Um, no major issues whatsoever. This was the latest drivers, the latest firmware, the latest of, of everything. I'm always keeping up to date. Um, it's really the only flaws, if you want to call it that, is the trailing edge, just a little bit of cooling on the really fine points, which is what it is. There's some layer lines. Not sure if you can see it or not. I hate the focus. But there's a little bit of layer lines going on here if you look really close. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was gorgeous. It, it printed all the detail really well. The feet, the first layer, of course, were all beautiful. Um, no issues whatsoever. Even all the little claws were just gorgeous. Never there. You can see the cat. Anyway, um, yeah. So there you go. I wish I had a little bit better place. Maybe I'll get a little fancy pedestal that rotates like everybody else seems to get so there's that one um, and then we have the Prusa model this was actually inspired to print by uh, by CRT inspiration if you will uh, we were watching his live stream and he printed after he did his mark 3 build he ended up pr printing he meant to print buddy and he ended up accidentally hitting the bottle opener and uh yeah and it was kind of funny because he ended up at the end of it he didn't have anything to test it with and i was telling him he should test it so he ended up making a video like a 20 second video right after that where he had actually cooled down of a coke and actually opened it up and so anybody that wasn't on the stream is going to be completely clueless as to what the heck it was about but i thought this turned out really well the problem that I had with it. Um, obviously, I did a two color on it. It, you know, printed it up. It changes color. It's just the way it was. It was the on the card. Is the first one I did failed. Um, and uh, the part that irritates me a little bit is it failed by layer shifting. So it had an undetected layer shift, which was this was the first one that I had really seen on this printer. Um, and this I. I think it has something to do with one of the firmwares, the latest firmware or something. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But it actually had the layer shift. And since this has been done, I've actually had two other layer shifts that were undetected. I'm switching. I had two other layer shifts that were undetected. Uh, one, I'll sh you'll see it in the Moon, uh, Moon City print that I'll end up showing and doing another video on with that as well. And then I had some, I was messing around with the printer. So I don't really, I'm not really counting this, but I thought it was odd because I was messing with the, the printer and being an idiot that I was, I was trying to do a, uh, a video for another project that I'm working on. Um, I was actually in the way of the bed and the bed came in and smashed into my hand and didn't care. It skipped the heck out of a bunch of, counts and did nothing um this just so you know is 
uh, X was an X skip, and the one you're going to see on Moon City is a Y skip. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, I did go back into the firmware and toggled everything, and we'll see. I haven't had a skip since. And again, I've been printing a ton. So this has been two or three issues. Uh, I'm not even counting the ones where I was messing with it. Um, so it, again, I think it's all tweakable because prior to that, it was working flawlessly. So I think there's just some firmware tweaks still happening. Um, so anyways, there you go. Adelinda, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous print with Prusa. I don't know, riding. There you go. That's how they go together. Print everything you can, and thanks for stopping by.